Hi, it's Patrick Hutzel from IntensiveCareHotline.com with another quick tip for families in intensive care. Today's tip is about ECMO weaning in intensive care, more specifically VA ECMO weaning. So there's a difference between VA and VV ECMO. VA ECMO is for heart failure, VV ECMO is for lung failure. This particular client we're working with at the moment has heart failure and lung failure, is on VA ECMO at the moment. Uh, the history is a heart attack with an LAD stand and other vessels blocked, but the client was too unstable after the heart attack to go for another stand or have cardiac surgery. So he ended up on ECMO and VA ECMO and inotrope slash vasopressors very quickly uh, whilst he was going into lung failure as well as part of COVID. How should weaning be done when someone is on VA ECMO? Well, the weaning should be done by reducing the refs per minute and by reducing the cardiac uh, output and therefore let the heart after they after the heart had a rest for a few days or for a couple of days and then let the heart beat for itself let the heart pump for itself and then gradually wean off ECMO so that is what needs to happen in a nutshell in this particular situation with our client uh, it's a very tricky situation because the intensive care team now has also started to use the intraortic balloon pump again which which I haven't seen actually before the intraortic balloon pump, if it's not working after a heart attack or after cardiac surgery, if it's not enough support for the heart, usually leads to VA ECMO. In this situation, they're trying to reverse the course of action. They're now trying to wean off ECMO whilst inserting the intraortic balloon pump to support the heart. But that's, from my perspective, it's not a good sign because when you wean off ECMO, the heart should be pumping by itself. So it's a, definitely a red flag. And it looks to me like the intensive care team in this situation might be actually clutching at straws and hasn't actually the family told that uh, it might be a, a futile attempt, unfortunately. But, you know, that's the next few days will show what the weaning of ECMO uh, um, shows. The trouble with ECMO is it's a great device and it helps save lives, bridge to heart transplant, you know, bridge to the heart recovering without a transplant. Trouble is it's a huge infection risk often hemoglobin drops because blood is being withdrawn from the body of course going through the ECMO machine so there's definitely some loss of blood there so it comes with massive risks that need to be managed but it also has a limited uh, uh, timeline where, where you can use ECMO uh, because of the massive risks that are attached to it so weaning of ECMO should be done without the balloon pump that is my quick tip for today uh, once I know more about what the next steps are for the client, I'll post another video here. Uh, if you have a loved one in intensive care, go to intensivecarehotline.com, uh, ring us on one of the numbers on the top of the website or send me an email to support at intensivecarehotline.com. Uh, like this video, comment down below what you want to see next or any questions you have and subscribe to my YouTube channel for families in intensive care. This is Patrick Hutzel from intensivecarehotline.com and I'll talk to you in a few days.